Hello everyone. As you can tell from the lack of new videos on my channel lately, I have not been out on photo walks much this summer. I made plans to set up a studio space and do several sessions indoors, but even though I had several ideas, I was feeling a bit low and uninspired to create images indoors. So to mix things up a bit, I went on a hunt for a vintage lens that would be a good match for the style of photography I enjoy. I decided to try this one made in the early 1960s. It has a minimum focusing distance of 33cm or about 13 inches. My 100mm macro lens has a minimum focusing distance of 12 inches or 30cm, so I figured I could get quite close up with this old lens. I got an M42 mount adapter to use the lens on my Canon cameras and decided to try it first on my old Canon T3i. When you buy a used lens from eBay like I did with this one, you never know exactly what you are going to get. The listing stated that the lens was in good condition with no oil on the aperture blades, clean glass, no fungus. For the limited time I have used it so far, I can say the focus ring is smooth and easy to turn, I had no trouble focusing manually and the aperture blades open and close with no problems. Sometimes with old lenses, it is possible that if they were stored improperly, the lens can have problems with mold, or dust, or vaporized glue or grease. All of these potential issues could cause the images to be hazy. I won't know the true condition until I have been out with the lens to test it further. My first images outdoors are hazy, but I'll explain why later. This is the first image I took with this lens, with the aforementioned uninspired indoor photo shoot. On my first day out with this lens, it was humid and rainy, and both this lens and my macro lens were fogging up. I had to use a lens cloth to wipe the moisture off the front of the lenses from time to time. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you will know that I'm a little obsessed with large apertures and dreamy pictures. So I wanted to limit myself to shooting at the maximum aperture of this lens for the first time out. This lens is known for its diffused glow when used wide open because of spherical aberration, which is more prominent at the maximum aperture, the way I'm using it here. Once you stop down, the aperture blades will cover the outer edges and reduce this phenomenon. For comparison, I'm using my 100mm macro lens at its maximum aperture. As you can see, only a tiny area of the fennel flower head is sharp with this lens's largest aperture of f2.8. I set my ISO to 100 and then adjusted the shutter speed till the image was exposed well. And then, I did the same thing with my old camera and the rest in lens. With its aperture at f1.8, I set the ISO to 100 and adjusted the shutter speed last. At first I tried to have similar framing as the 100mm lens, and then I moved in closer. This skipper was sitting nice and still on the fennel, so I took a photo with the old lens first. You can really see that soft glow here versus the photo with the 100mm lens. And I had to get a quick shot of the fennel with my phone and moment macro lens before moving to find a different subject. I found a very small fly, but struggled to get it in focus with both lenses and I kept scaring it away when I tried to get close with my phone too. Thank you. 
Then the rain started falling on and off. I tried to get a few more pictures in between showers, but after a while I decided to cover my 5D3 and put my older Canon and the old lens away in my camera bag with a rain cover so they wouldn't get damaged. In my next video, I don my rain poncho and continue to walk around with my 100mm macro in the rain for a while, and later switch to my telephoto lens. Both of these and my 5D3 are weather sealed, so I don't mind them getting a little rain. I can't wait to share with you what I found. Thanks for watching this one. See you next time.